Hi everybody. We're going to do another bubble experiment today. And I have, this is called shaving cream. Uh, maybe your dad or your mommy uses it when they shave. It's really just soap. And the bubbles are so close together that they look white. See that? You could use this for um, finger paint. You could add some color to that. And I'm going to do a um, color mixing experiment today. I have a baggie. And inside I'm going to put some of the shaving cream. Look at that. Really fun. And if you close it up, it won't make a mess in your house. And you can squish it. It feels really good. So we're going to take some colors uh, to mix them up in here and see what we can make. So the primary colors are red and yellow and blue. We're going to mix two colors together and see if we can make something else. A different color. Let's open it up. I'm going to put a little dab of blue in here like that. You see that? I painted it on the side of the, of the baggie. And then I'm going to take some yellow. I need more yellow than blue because yellow is not as strong. And we have a lot of white in there from the soap bubbles. So I'm going to take like three dabs of yellow and one dab of blue. I'm going to close it back up. And now when I mush them together, ooh, that feels so good. I don't know if you remember at school we did finger painting a lot and we mixed some colors. And I know Rose, Rose was doing some projects when she did her rainbow project and she mixed them all together and it made like a little mush color, I mean, greenish brown. But look what's happening. If you mix the yellow and the blue, you see in the middle where the two colors meet, it's turning green. Isn't that cool? So you can do this project on a paper with soap, with shaving cream, or you can do it in a baggie and it doesn't make a mess. Um, I already did red and blue and that makes purple, very light purple, kind of pinkish purple because the shaving cream is white. So let's do one more mix and see what we can make. We did blue and yellow makes green, red and blue makes purple. Let's see if we can do Oops, I need another brush. Let's see if we can do red and yellow. So I'm gonna take one scoop of red. This is a very small brush. I think I need a little bit more. Two scoops of red, and I'm gonna go back to my yellow. And put three scoops of yellow in there. One, two, oops, three. Because the yellow needs to be strong. Okay, close it up. There you go. Let's bring our soap up and bring the colors down, mush them together, and let's see when they meet in the middle. Mushy, mushy. What are we going to make? I think some of you already know. When you mix red and yellow together, ooh, right there in the middle, it's making orange. Can you see that? made orange. So you can do this project at home with bubbles and paints or food coloring and keeping it nice and clean in a baggie. Have fun. Bye-bye.